One of the easiest ways to adapt devices for use if you have quadriplegic hands like I do, I'm a C6-7, I have no finger function, is to use these metal bars and bend them to fit and then tie wrap them to certain devices. Now what I did, this is my hairbrush. You can buy these bars in Home Depot or Lowe's or Hobby Shops. They're aluminum. They're different thicknesses and different different thicknesses this way and different widths. Um, this is one of the first ones I did so it's a little heavier than the others but you want it to be firm. What you do is you take the bar and you cut them to size. Okay, You have to hacksaw it. I don't know if you can do it yourself or get somebody to hacksaw it for you. And a lot of this is learning. I've made a lot of, you have to bend a lot of these before you figure out exactly what fits your hand. But you want to find something that's about the width of your hand, like a broomstick or a piece of dowel or something like that, that fits inside there. And you can either bend this either in a vise or put a piece of, put the piece of uh, wood inside here and have somebody bend it around and cut it. It's all trial and error until you figure out what works best for you. But once you get something that really fits your hand well, and you can see that fits my hand pretty well. What you want to do is you want to tie wrap it to the device. And this is my hairbrush, as I said before. And there's a lot of different ways you can do it. But you can see on this one here, what I did was I just tie wrapped it around. You pull the tie wrap through and you cut it off as close as you can. You don't want any sharp edges. And on this one here, that, that holds it in place. But on the bottom part here, to give it more stability, I drilled a hole through the brush right there. And also on this side, through the tire, through the, uh, the the metal bar right here, you can see. And I tie wrapped it in both directions to give it more stability. On this one, I also dipped it in rubber, which was unnecessary. I was trying to make it look better, but it doesn't matter what it looks like. It just adds another level, you know, another layer of mess that you don't need to worry about. And basically, like I said, it's trial and error. You uh, try it different ways and see what works for you. Here's two other ways I've done it. One is for a hacksaw and one is for a coping saw. And you can see they're a little thinner, they're a little thinner metal. Um, actually, the hacksaw is actually broken right now, but you drill a hole through it and you go through it as many different ways as you need to to make it steady. Uh, once you make the hacksaw, you can use it to cut the, um, to cut the bar. But this is just some different ways I've done it. You can experiment on your own to see which works best for you.